I am delighted to be with a friend and a board member and a partner in crime on many levels. With Milena Marinova, welcome to Box Spring. Thank you, it's so good to be here. Really wonderful. Let's be provocative. Do you think AI is going to take over the world? I don't. I believe humans are going to destroy Earth well before any AI could be advanced enough in the methods we're imagining, potentially. No, it's, it's devastating. I, I think, you know, I'm, I'm a person that I, I hope I'm a realist, but I'm also an idealist in, in many ways too. I need the hope, right? So <laughs> what I've been seeing is this Gen Z um, and millennials really, there seems to be a much more of a, a thoughtfulness <laughs> and an expression around the environment and a, more of a knowledge around the environment. Mm. And my hope is they are our hope. Well, we met it unreasonable, right? So that whole premise of um, the best or most successful corporations in the future would be the most ethical ones. They care about people and the environment and inclusiveness. So. I, I want to believe that, I have to believe that, right? We definitely, um, humans need hope. But I see a lot of amazing people, entrepreneurs tackling those issues again. Uh, there's a lot of, as you said, self-awareness that on a small level, we can stop using plastic, we can be more conscious of the amount of water we use, all kinds of things behaviorally that if billions of people change, then it will have an impact. Sometime soon, there needs to be much more rigorous private-public cooperation between governments and uh, companies. And just literally putting in laws that... Absolutely, you know, absolutely. Laws and regulations work for a reason, and hopefully that would be one of the examples that are good ones. Yeah, no, I, I, I see that. Do you think the name artificial intelligence is going to remain in the future? It's funny, I don't know who came up with it, but there's a commonly reused PowerPoint actually, or labeling that says, if it's in PowerPoint, it's artificial intelligence. If it's in Python, it's machine learning. It's like an insider joke because it just became popular all over again in the media and everybody else panicking around. People in the industry know it's machine learning. Mm -hmm. The machines are learning something from data, whether it's sparse data, structured, unstructured, etc. But we're all now forced to use artificial intelligence because just everybody else knows about that. If you say machine learning, they're like, oh, that's something, if it's old, it's different, but it's actually the same. That's why the irony of intelligence that learns on its own and where I know these models are hard. Each and every neural network also requires parameter optimization, training, data in the right fields, there's so much work that humans are doing to even get one application done properly. And it's still primarily in research. There, there's no, if you go outside of the common voice um, assistants and Google, Facebook, Apple using AI for devices, Amazon and Netflix with our recommendations, there's no real consumer products out there using AI that are commercial grade. So again, the difficulty of programming, even when the machines are learning, whether it's from experience or data, and you're not specifically writing out the rules, it still takes a lot of effort and it's quite complicated to get one particular application working. The AI-assisted decision-making that Prowler is working on has a combination of some of those, I mentioned, reinforcement learning techniques from probabilistic modeling, Gaussian processes, areas where we don't have as much data, uh, but even if we did, we want to plan scenarios and we want to look at optimal solutions. Say, uh, one of their biggest applications is in logistics planning, last mile delivery, which is really costly. But if you take a company like Prowler and use their platform to help with the decisions, you see massive cost savings and efficiency uh, improvements. So that's a perfect example where the human brain would not ever be as close to a complicated AI decision-making system to help you. 
So um, thank you for listening, everyone. And thank you so much, Melina. This is really a journey and a fantastic one, as far as I'm concerned. And let's hope that we all just do our bit, especially around the planet. I totally agree with that. Right. Yeah. Thanks, Claire. Ooh. That was